Scott Morrison, the former Minister for Finance, Health, Industry and Science, Energy and Resources, Home Affairs and Treasury, as well as Prime Minister, must be green with envy. Had he known about mutual obligations, he could have been in power forever. How do we know that? Because Rex Patrick, our star columnist, has just got some FOIs back from Centrelink, and he's broken the story behind the story of the legalised cannabis party, making it onto the list of approved organisations for job seeker mutual obligations. That's where, in order to get your Centrelink payment, you have to agree to look for jobs or work for free. In this case, handing out pamphlets for the legalised cannabis party. And all they did, the legalised cannabis party, was to fill out the SU461 form to get approval. And they were duly approved by Centrelink. What a lost opportunity this must have been for Scott Morrison and his government. It was all going well, of course, until those killjoys at the ABC broke the story in March and put the kibosh on it. And now you can't sit around and smoke pot all day or actually hand out pamphlets for the legalised cannabis party. But the big news of the week really, also covered on social media by Rex, was Rupert Murdoch's leak, the Australian newspaper's leak, that Albo's government was looking to block debate about AUKUS at the Labor Party's national conference, also about Israel and Palestine. So far, about 17 ALP branches have passed resolutions against the $370 billion military pact. But the government wants debate blocked at its party conference. It does not want to deal with this issue, despite the fact that in opposition, Albo and a couple of other senior ministers were given just a few hours, no documents, just a few hours to decide they were briefed whether to back this AUKUS pact or not. Morrison had wedged the opposition. Should Australia be locked into a deal for 50 years, which provides no labour or economic advantages? It sees hundreds of billions flow to the US and UK defence contractors. It antagonises its major customer, China, and it makes us all a target, turns Australia nuclear. This, with no public debate, no consensus of the people. Is it a good deal? As Rex says, and he's a former serviceman who served underwater in submarines, so he knows submarines. To quote Rex, it costs $368 billion, delivers a first submarine in 10 years' time, introduces nuclear reactors to Australia, benefits foreign shipyards over local, was announced as a fait accompli, and you don't want it discussed at your party conference? Really, Albo? That's the story. That's the big news. 50 years. We need some feedback on this. You can comment, share the video, support us on Patreon if you can afford it. Let's get the debate going on AUKUS because we don't want needless wars and Australians dying in needless wars. Mm -hmm.